Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Nick Welker here from Welker Farms. So there's been something that I haven't done and a lot of people have been asking me to do it and I think it's about time I do it. And that is play the one and only Millennial Farmer map on Farming Simulator 19. Let's go terrorize the Millennial Farm on Farming Simulator 19. You wanna come? Let's go to the computer, let's go. All right, Whew. let's do this. Let's see, Farming Simulator 19, playing the Millennial Farmer map. My hat right, all right. I'm ready to do this. Here we go. First time millennial farmer map. Welcome to the map, everybody. Is that Zach Johnson's voice? Oh, hey, I, I know that logo. I've seen that before. This looks like, oh, this looks like Zach's house. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that setup, that leg. Man, they got a nice setup there. A lot of green tractors around. At least he's got a red pickup, that's nice. Well, this is pretty sweet, except for, I definitely gotta change something. And large tractors. Go over here a little ways, and yeah, that one right there. Let's make it a 620, of course. Preferably the AFS Connect 620. There it is, right there, oh yeah. 620 AFS Connect quad track. Oh. All right, we'll row this back to the Millennial Farm. Get some farming going, the way it should be done. All right, rowing the quad track in. Looks like some wheat here. That's interesting. I thought this was corn country. Okay, approaching the Millennial Farm. Let's just uh, take this corner nice and slow. This might be a big surprise to the farm. Whoa, that was odd. Got some beautiful trees. Wish we grew trees like that. There's his home. That's awesome. Still impressed by his grain setup there. Ah, oh, you're in a good spot. Right? Yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. What? On the Millennial Farm. Not the game, the farm. I'm here. <laughs> I'm not the only one. That's the Millennial Farmer. I'm in his shop. What are you doing here? Hey, Zach. I was, I was, play, I was playing a game, Farming Simulator. I just, you don't, I don't believe me, but I was like coming down your yard with the track. What are you doing? Well, we're getting ready actually to bring some tillage stuff in here and get going on tillage. Did you say you brought a tractor? Yeah, I, I drove a, well, it's a, it's a red, red tractor. Big one, really nice. Big red, red red tractor. Does it pull tillage? Yeah, oh easy, easy. Don't put this on YouTube. Okay. Let's try it out. It's a lot of work to hook up and implement, okay? okay. I find it much easier if you use the snap, but I don't teach this to many people. The snap? The, yeah. Pull, pull the snap? The finger snap. Really? Yeah, okay. try, so try it. Pull your sleeve back. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Now warm your hand up a little. Okay. Get good, get good and tight on it. Okay. Think about it hard. Okay. And, and then what, let it rip? Let it rip. It's not working. Warm it up more. Think about it harder. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, tillage, 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 tillage. Here, just. Here. Just, Ready? Yeah. She brought the 475 speed tiller. Looks like it. Nice. I mean, I didn't bring it, it just, that's what happened. All right. I approve. Well, I guess that's all I have to do is kill. Yeah, get the tractor drive.
So this is the new AFS Connect quad track, Steiger quad track. Yep. The 620. It's uh, fresh from Elker Farms. Been pulling green cart around. You drove it a long ways today. Yeah. 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 Two lane road is not a good thing. No. And it doesn't really have the top end to pass people. 70, 80 miles an hour. It's I, tough. You got to really got the downshift to yeah. run at it. There's a couple semis on hills that I was able to pull around, but other than that, no. Sure. So, anyways, yeah. So we've got the speed tiller hooked up. We're ready to roll. And uh, we're going to till some corn. And this field was just freshly harvested. It was just today, like an hour ago. That's good. Okay. So, pretty simple clutch. The skier lever here, I'll put her in gear. This guy here? Yep, yep. And okay. then you got your multifunction handle with your, your yep. gear shifter there. You bump oh, it up and also down. Also throttle, right? Throttle. Yeah, I don't even need to teach you. you what, what, what should I start in? Um, four. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, natural. Woo. Natural. It's like I've driven a tractor before. This, I, think, I think this thing was meant to come today. This is... Okay, we want to... Yep. Yeah, so we're floating it. All right. Let's keep her down a bit. I mean, keep her up. Oh yeah. What do we want? About nine miles an hour? Was that what I think 10? so. Nine or ten. You guys just had a rain a couple days ago. We did. Around, like, yeah. Just the other day. Like uh, 36 hours ago, we oh. got into rain. Oh wow. And we got sticky, sticky soils. So. So this is a, a common battle of dealing with wet ground. It's not uncommon, that's for sure. Which is why you're doing this, correct? So that it'll dry out in the spring? That is the plan, yeah. We try and t turn it over to get the stuff to decompose, but also to get it to dry out in the spring is a big thing. I mean, if we if we leave this sit, it seems to take forever to dry out in the spring. And it'll be, we'll be 10 days to two weeks later than the field over there that's tilled. And that makes a huge difference in yields. making us stop the tractor right, right, the so we can take pictures of the sunset oh <laughs> i never do this on my farm i actually farm where's your corn at i need to go take a leak <laughs> someone cut it all so <laughs> i'm sure you guys are wondering what's going on um zach here uh well he just wanted some time on one of these machines so we he needed made, help with tillage yes he needed help with some serious tillage issues so i made a couple calls I've got a couple connections, you know, and it worked out that, well, we brought him a tracker and a speed tiller. So now for all the people out there who are telling me all the time, you should drive a quad track. Try a quad track. I'm going to try a quad he's, track. He's going to work for a couple days. Yeah. So you guys can see some more of this. But if you guys don't know Zach, this is a millennial farmer from Millennial Farms. You guys look up on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tiki Talk, Facebook. <laughs> I don't know, he's on a few of those platforms. Just go to YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's where it's at. Yeah. So he's got a good channel, a lot of fun stuff. These guys are in the middle of harvest right now, so they got some good harvest content, so you should go check that out. But yeah, it's been fun. Zach's uh, Zach's definitely not new to this farming thing. Uh, he's got doing it for fifth generation? Uh, yeah, fifth generation. You've been around the whole time. I've been, yes, I've been here since 1874. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm, I'm older than I look. Uh, you do look pretty good for your yeah, age. Thank Must you. be the water, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, it's all that tile water you've been drinking. I've been seeing those videos. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Keeps you young. Anyway, it's real fun to come here and hang out with Zach's. I've actually never been on Zach's farm before, so it's been really cool to see the place. He's been out to our area once. Probably won't ever happen again. Your brother was here last year. Oh, that's right. He did yeah. burn out my driveway when he saw our tractors. <laughs> he did, did he? Yeah. Then he came and cleaned my toilet. It was a sweet gig. <laughs> Except where he broke the arm that he cleans toilets with. Yeah, well, now what? I think he can use his other arm. <laughs> Actually, I was just gonna tape a little toilet cleaner to his calves, you know, so I can kind of get in there. Yeah, work it around. Yeah. <laughs> a little break.
raised. Yeah, so it works out. We love you, leg arms. Don't worry. Yes, Scott, get well soon. Yeah, the, the, there's no need for hate comments, guys. Pure fun here. He's cool. Okay, you can leave a couple. Go ahead. You can say a couple things. Yeah, we yeah. can elbow jab. We're I know you. To it. <laughs> yeah. We got thick skin inside there's a hill. us. Oh, there's a hill. Oh, is that up. pulling down a little bit? A little bit. We went from 9.5 to 10. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's rolling 10 miles an hour. I'm um, in 11th gear. Holy cow. I've I never... want to get done with this field in the next hour. I've never hit 11th gear before. We got oh, a runner. He's not, he's not that. Get out of here. Oh, darn God. it. We're not going to get him. Oh. You got two more gears. You're not using them. Doc got it. All right. Yeah, you better run. Wiley Coyote. We had to do his job and chase those seagulls away. Oh, now he's just yeah. making fun of us. Look at that. He was going to go in the slough, and now he's going to let us double back around. The mighty dryer at work. I don't know. I was telling Zach earlier, I don't know if I can handle having that thing running all night long. I couldn't sleep. It would just, I don't know. It would, I guess you get used to it, but just knowing that all those parts are turning and propane's burning and electricity and corn's moving, we're all sleeping. Impressive. A lot of guys do this. That's one expense that we don't have to worry about on our farm. I'm thankful for that. But they get it done here. They really do. Pretty cool, these guys run a good operation. We decided it's getting dark and well, I'm tired, my bedtime was like an hour ago. I guess these guys work late, so. Only when other people are around or I have the camera. Oh, yeah. oh really, so when I turn this off, you'll probably go to bed and I leave? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh for sure, I, I asked if he had a bed ready for me and he said yes at the Hilton Inn. At the Hilton, yes. So. I, Which is a long ways from here. Yeah, but I did want to talk about this guy. You're a certified grain card operator, right? I guess. Yeah? You can call me a certified. Certified? Do you have your card? No. You didn't get him a card? I didn't get him a card. The I lamp? could build him a plaque. I you could build him. Yeah, you need a plaque. I think I got it. What do you got? What do you have? He's got something in his pocket. Is it a card? Oh, yes. Oh, certified grain card. He is card. more than a certified grain card with that thing. Holy smokes. <laughs> this kid, man, he impresses me. It's like wearing this hat a couple videos back. Now he's got that. You're raising him right, Zach. Good kid. He's probably pretty pumped about that tractor. So he's good. Oh yeah, the tractor. Is he gonna get to ride it? I would assume so. That's probably why he drove out there. I mean, <laughs> I think Case is just okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zach's the only one gonna be driving that tractor now. <laughs> <laughs> well, rumors are true. It rains in Minnesota quite a bit. It's, it's wet out here. We tried yesterday, do a little tillage, and we got some done. Zach, uh, he's uh, catching on quick with this machine. But last night, rain enough, it's gonna shut us down and I gotta get out of here. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do any more tillage with, with uh, Zach, but I'm sure he's gonna make plenty of videos on, uh, on that whole operation. But this is that speed tiller, the 475, and uh, the difference from this, from when the old uh, K-Line speed tiller that I was used to, that got a chance to run a little bit. Look at these floater tires in the back of this thing. They were not on it, they had truck tires before. They really upgraded that, so I'm excited to see what he thinks of it, and uh, hopefully, yeah, he puts it through its paces, but uh, I'm gonna miss that tractor. It's too bad. It's a really good machine. But I think Zach will treat it right. I think so. He's a little uh, out of place here, but you know, maybe this is a new start to a new beginning on Millennial Farms. Red trucks, <clears throat> Zach's red pickup, and a nice red tractor. Yeah, good things are happening here. Well, it's about that time. I better hit the road. So, uh, this guy wants to stay busy. Thank you guys for watching and stay safe. That yes. goes for you too, Nick. Thanks for coming, buddy. You bet. Appreciate it. Until next time. Okay. Enjoy that tractor, though. Send me pictures of it regularly. I will. Post little videos. I will. Okay, thank you. And, and make sure when you wash the hood, just like, it streaks really bad, so you gotta get the water off quickly. You gotta sham it. Yeah, yeah, sham. We have lots of gas. Good, okay. Thanks, man. Take care of her. Later. Montana is just as windy as Minnesota, and Minnesota is just as windy as Montana. Welcome to the map, everybody. Hey Zach, the quad track? Yeah, I still got it. <laughs>